everyone and welcome back to the Organized Notebook. In this video, we'll be going over how to make a journal with Notion. So let's get started. First, start by opening an empty Notion page and let's title it. And of course you can title it whatever you want, but we'll be just calling this journal Notion template and let's add a cover photo. And for that, we like to use Unsplash because there's a huge stock image library. And let's go with mountains. Let's choose this one. And we will reposition it. Save position. And then we are going to do go to the three dots on the top right corner. And we can choose small text full width. And what this does is it makes the page way bigger and you can fit more things into the Notion page. Then let's go to empty page and we can get started. So for this template, we are going to show you how to make two databases that are related to each other. And one will be for your journal types, such as a daily journal, travel journal, food journal, so you can have as many journals as you'd like, and you can kind of think of it as a physical journal. So let's start by making that database. So we're going to type slash database. And we're going to choose gallery view for this. Plus new database. And let's title this my journals. And just so you can see what we're planning on. So this is my journals, which are going to have your different journals. And then under that, we're going to put all your journal entries into one place. So let's put another database type slash database. And for this, we're going to do table view and plus new database. And let's call this my journal entries. So these are going to be our two databases that we're going to have. And let's actually go ahead and put the headings in already. So type slash heading three to get heading three. And we'll type my journals. And we like to do divider under heading so it looks cleaner. So slash divider and enter. And then here we are going to do the same. So slash heading. We're going to choose heading three and my journal entries. And let's put a divider under there, slash divider. And now we have our two sections. So next, we are going to start by organizing our journal database in our my journals. So for that, first, let's go here and retitle them into our sample journals that we're going to go for. So this is going to be our daily journal. And we can actually go ahead and delete some of these properties that we're not going to use for this. So we don't need the created date. So we're going to delete this. And we don't need tags at the moment. Later, you could put tags, but for this, we're not going to put tags. So let's delete property and delete what's inside. And we have our daily journal. And this one is going to be, let's say a travel journal. And this one could be a food journal. So if you like journaling, you could just make an unlimited amount of journals here and then organize your journal entries into each of these. So the next thing we're going to do is for visual effect, we're going to add photos to the cover photos of your journals. So for that, we're going to go to the three dots here and we go to layout and then let's go to card preview and select page cover. So now whatever you put into the page cover for these are going to show up on the top. So let's start with daily journal and we're going to add cover. And let's change the cover to something that's more like a journal. You can do journal. And let's choose some kind of journal picture for this. 
So maybe we can go with this one. And then for travel journal, let's go and choose some kind of travel photo. You can search for travel and click here. And actually we can reposition this as well. So you can see what you want in the image. This as well, if you wanted to reposition and a food journal. So let's add cover, unsplash, food, and let's choose maybe this one. And now we have our three journals. And actually we can even go ahead and add icons to add even more character. So let's say daily journal could be like a book. Travel journal, we could put an airplane. And food journal, we can add fork and knife like this. So now we have three journals. Of course, if you're doing this on your own, you can put whatever journal type you want to put here. But this is just an example. So now we can go ahead to my journal entries. So these are specific entries you're going to make. And the default comes with two properties, name and tags. And in this case, we don't need tags, so we can delete this one. Delete. And instead of name, we can call it title. And now let's add new properties to this that you would want in your journal entry. So a good idea would be a date that you wrote the journal entry. And then one of the most important things is that we want it to relate to your journal. So now we're going to add a property, which is a relation. And we have to make sure to add it to my journal, my journals uh, database. So let's click here and we don't need a limit on how many journals you can add this to. So we're just going to put no limit and we're going to add the relation. So now we have a relation to my journals over here. So let's say that you're going to make a journal entry that is my daily journal and the date is today and you can choose your journal so we put it into the daily journal so now you have my daily journal the date and daily journal so just for example we're just going to put two more which is going to be for each of these so a day in paris let's say you traveled on the 13th and we'll put that into our travel journal and then here you can put what i ate today and let's say that was on the 12th and that goes into your food journal so now we have three sample journal entries and let's see how we can put these into your journals so the next thing we want to do is to make a default database template. So we're going to go here to this arrow and plus new template for templates in my journals. So this is going to be a default template for your journals. We're going to put plus new template and this will be called new journal. And then here we want to now put this journal entry spot filtered by journal. So whenever you make a new journal, you only see the entries for that journal. So let's type slash and then linked view of database. And what we want to see is the linked view of my journal entries. So we're going to click here. And now we see all three of these. But the thing is, we want to see these filtered by this new journal. So 
For that, we're going to click filter and we're going to filter it by my journals. And then we are going to filter it by this new journal. So now we don't see anything. We're going to save for everyone. And the other thing we can do is to hide my journals because we already know that it's it's filtered by this new journal. So we're going to hide this. So we're going to go to the three dots here, go to properties, and we're going to hide my journals. So now we have this clean view of the my journal entries filtered by the new journal. And as a third step, we actually can also even hide this so it looks cleaner. So let's go to layout and then show database title. We are going to remove this. And now we have a very clean looking database template. So we're going to go back. So now let's open up daily journal. And now you see the option to put a new journal. So let's just click here. And as you can see, we have our a daily journal entry. So it's already pre-filtered here. And we can go ahead to do that with the travel journal. And we can go ahead and do it in the food journal. And as a quick tip, if you don't want to cl click into your template, the database template, and you already know that there's going to be only one database template, you can set it as a default by going to this arrow and clicking the three dots and set as default. So now every time you add a new journal, let's say we add a new journal here for another topic. Let's say you have a sports journal, then it's going to be filtered by sport automatically. So this is quite useful if you want to reduce your time clicking into the database template. So now we have your journals with the template and we have your journal entries here. And the next thing we can do is to sort your journal entries. So we go here and we can sort it by date. And you can choose either an ascending view or a descending view, depending on how you want to see your journal entries. So I think it's quite nice to be able to see the most recent date at the top. So I recommend descending view. Save for everyone. So now you see that September 16th comes first in the list. So next, let's actually clean this up a little bit by hiding these titles of the databases. So we can go to the three dots here and go to layout and toggle this off. And we do the same in my journal entries. So we can go to layout and toggle off show database title. So now we have a clean view of your journals and your journal entries. And then the last thing we can show is how to add a new journal entry. So all you have to do is click new here and you can make another. So my daily journal and the date you can put 16th and my journals is part of the daily journal. And then you can start journaling here. And if you wanted to add photos and things like that inside your journal, you can do that as well by typing slash image. And then now you could upload image, you could embed a link, you can use Unsplash or even Giphy to add pictures into your journal. And when you're journaling, you can also decide if you wanted small text full width, so for more space as follows, or even if you wanted to change the font for some different effects, you can do that. And the other thing is if you did small text full width and you really wanted your journal entry to look nice, you can also do things like add columns, like slash column. And you could even put your photo on the other side and then you could write on the left side, for example. But these are all creative things you can do with your journaling. 
but that's basically how you can add a journal entry. So now if we go back to the journal notion template, we see that the daily journal you just added is here. And you can also see it in here. So alternatively, you can also add a journal entry through your journal. So that's really like writing into a paper journal. So if you wanted to add an entry into your travel journal, you could also go here and say day two in Paris and put the 14th. And then it's going to show here, day two in Paris in your journal entries automatically. And one thing that we didn't do is to also sort the the date inside these templates. So we can actually just go here to the arrows, click the three dots here to edit the template, click edit, and then let's add a sort for the date so that the dates also get sorted by descending and save for everyone. And if you want to see those changes reflected here, you actually have to uh, reset it up by deleting this, clicking new journal again, and it's going to be sorted for you. So let's go ahead and do that. So we delete new journal. And now it's sorted as you can see. And we do the same here. Delete and then new journal and the sort is there. And every new journal you add is going to automatically have that sort function as well. So that's the basics of making a journal in Notion. If you'd like the completed version of this template, we'll leave the link for it in the description. And let us know if you have any questions, comments, or anything that was confusing about this tutorial in the comments below. And we hope to see you in the next one.